Trent Bradshaw with Bradshaw Financial Planning and Mind Your Money. Today is July 13, 2020. Let's jump right into the agenda. We're going to talk about earnings. They're kicking off today. Uh, so we'll see what we're expecting going forward. Secondly, let's take a look at the S&P 500. Let's talk about that index and how important just five stocks are. And then last, we've had some questions in regards to the upcoming election. What kind of impact could that have on the market? All right, before we start, make sure you join our social media pages with Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Uh, also, you're free to give us an e uh, send us an email or give us a call if you've got any questions in regards to the video itself. All right, let's jump into the first chart. First chart we're going to look at today is um, estimates for earnings this quarter. What you'll see on this chart is, is driven by Goldman Sachs or is presented by Goldman Sachs. But if you look at this, the consensus estimate in that second bar, you'll see is negative 44% year-over-year growth for stocks within the S&P 500. Well, Goldman Sachs is predicting even a more dire picture of negative 60% year-over-year growth. So that's a red flag. We've talked about reality and what's actually going on in the market right now, and there's definitely a disconnect. And Goldman's basically telling us that it is going to be more dire than what they expect, but yet the market continues to rise. Well, what you'll find is the, the third quarter consensus has earnings being down year over year, negative 24%. Goldman's got it in negative 30. For the fourth quarter, consensus, negative 14%. Goldman has it in negative 17. But look in the bottom right-hand part of this chart, and I'll have it circled. What you're seeing is the estimates by Goldman Sachs are for $115 worth of earnings for the S&P 500 right now, which trades currently around the 3200 level. Well, if you take that 3200 and divide it by 115, you get a price to earnings ratio in the high 20s, close to 30. Well, historically, the price to earnings ratio for the S&P 500 on average is around 16. So the market's trading at about two times the valuation that it normally sees historically. Again, that's reality. Uh, and it's, it's a little concerning right now. Uh, we've got to keep an eye on this because we'll jump into the next slide and talk a little bit about this. Look at the S&P 500. And you'll see a set of numbers on here, but we're going to look at the top five stocks within the S&P 500. They make up almost one-fourth of that entire index. So imagine most investors, if not all investors that own mutual funds, even own individual stocks, maybe exchange traded funds, own five of these largest companies. And everybody knows these companies. Obviously, I can't mention their names on the video, but you're very familiar with them. Everybody uses a cell phone every day. Everybody places orders online every day. You kind of get the picture of who I'm driving to in regards to that. But one fourth of the S&P 500 is made up of these companies. So the, the question mark is when these companies no longer decide they're going to go up in valuations, which they're expensive right now, then think of it as a crowded room. Um, and, and who hits the exit first? When people try to rush out of one small exit at the same time, the corrections can be rapid, they can be violent, and that's the concern when I look at the S&P 500. The market cap of these five largest companies continues to get larger and larger. Uh, but again, reality versus what the market's doing, total separation. Let's go to the last chart. Well, what happens in a presidential election? What if we have a change in administration? Well, one thing we know, they've already said that we're at least going to probably revert back to what the Obama tax rates were, or tax tables were at that point. Remember, corporate taxes were cut significantly, so they will probably jump back to at least in the mid-30s from 21 right now. That's going to cause, as you'll see on the right side of this chart, estimated earnings for 2021 going from 170 per share on the S&P 500 down to 150. It's almost a cut of 20% in earnings just with the modification of the tax tables and the corporate tax rates. It's definitely something we're paying attention to. 
Will the market react on it? We don't know, but the closer we get to the election, I've got to think that's going to put some pressure on the market. If you've got any questions or concerns with what we talked about today, like I said, give us a call, shoot us an email. Look forward to speaking with you soon. This is Trent Bradshaw with Bradshaw Financial Planning. And mind your money. Have a wonderful week.